Hi guys, just another quick Logic Pro X tutorial for you guys today. Today I'll be showing you how to do side chain compression. Um, this one goes out to Hartaj. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I've already created uh, two software instrument tracks. On the first channel strip I have a deep house kit from Ultrabeat, just a nice four on the floor. And on my second channel strip I've got the sculpture synth and I've already inputted some MIDI notes um, into that to get things all nicely set up. I've created a simple 4 bar loop to make things nice and simple for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the side chain compression. Um, so what you want to do first is uh, just click on your drum kit of choice, go down to where it says send and on the right there, when you hover your mouse over send it should come up with those two arrows press them and then go down to bus from the drop down menu and use the next available bus you can use any bus but just provided that it's available I'm already using one and two um, for something else so I'm going to use bus three once you've done that go to the wheel on the side of bus where it says the bus and turn it all the way up to plus six um, brilliant now when you make a bus it automatically creates uh, an aux channel on your mixer. So if you press Command 2, um, which is a little shortcut, you can bring up the mixer, or you can go to Window at the top of the screen and go down to where it says Open Mixer, and it will do exactly the same thing. So you can see the aux channel here. Just highlight it. Go where go down to where it says uh, ST Out, which um, stands for Stereo Out which you can see here, that's the same channel, and click it and then go hold hold your mouse down and go no output. Uh, brilliant. And then you can get rid of your uh, mixer window. Um, next what you want to do is just press on your second channel and go down to where it says audio effects, uh, click the arrows again and go to dynamics and then compressor and this will bring up your compressor window. Um, uh, if you have a look where it says sidechain then go to the drop down menu and you want to click on the bus that um, you have used on the first channel. Um, so I use bus 3 so I'm going to select bus 3 for that. Then to make it really noticeable I'm going to turn up the ratio um, quite a lot so you can hear it and it should make a nice pumping action if we just have a quick listen to that and you can see what I mean. Brilliant, that is exactly how we'd like it to sound. Um, I'm just going to sh uh, show you what it sounds like without the sidechain compression. So if I turn off, get rid of my compressor and get rid of my bus send um, and I'll just get rid of that aux track as well. Um, now, uh, this is what it sounds like without the sidechain compression. So, yeah, not much sidechain compression going on there. Um, so, yeah, this is a really good technique um, used in dance music. Um, and so, yeah, that is sidechain compression in Logic Pro X. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.